welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium and channel. And we are going to get started with um, approximately about 60 minutes of what I like to call entertainment for you. If you have a question and you would like to call in and ask that question, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Uh, you can also connect with loved ones on the other side. Um, or if you are watching on YouTube Live, you can post your question in the chat, and I will also be able and happy to answer that question for you. Typically, um, well, first, little bit of announcements. Um, you can, um, oh my goodness, my brain. Um, please, I will never reach out to you, don't get scammed. I, I do not do email or text message readings. I only do them over the phone. Bring, 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 bring a ding. Um, so if you are booking a session, the only way it happens is if you go to my website and you talk to me over the phone. That's it. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Uh, typically, I would start with um, names and songs and, um, you know, confirmations. Tonight, I'm just going to channel. So, and again, I'm going to say uh, all day I've been, to, to, been, I can't even talk right now. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so sorry. Um, all day I've known I was going to channel and I've had a little bit of an idea uh, what it is about. And I think this is really important. So please, if you do have a question, be very patient. The channeling will not last the whole show, but this is the most, um, some of the most amazing channeling that is about to come through. Okay, so be patient. One of the most important things for you to understand is you are the vessel. You are the word. You are the way. There is no other way than you. You are the vessel that will take you in the direction or the way that you are supposed to go. You can never be on the wrong path for whatever path you end up on is the path that is teaching you in the way you are willing to learn in that moment. It is important for you to understand that everything is within you. Everything you need to know, everything and every direction that you could possibly go is within you along with all of those answers. You are all born, each and every one of you, with many abilities. Throughout time, some of those abilities might seem like they have faded away or gone away or you may not even remember that you had them. They cannot leave you. They are within you. It is your birthright. It is your inner God. It is your inner self that is connected to the whole. And the more you tap into that, the stronger it will become. the more it will open, if you will. It is of utmost importance at this time that you understand you are the way. It is not through anyone or anything that you reach your father. It is in here. It is with you. 
you need but tap in. You need to have the intention to tap in. There is never a loss of connection. There is just a feeling of a loss of connection. There is just a belief that you are not able to. And we will say again, you have never ever been disconnected. You are divinely connected at all times. You are the way. Many of you are familiar with what you call Jesus, Yeshua, Yahuwah, whatever name you want to give him, and many other great teachers. And every single one of those teachers would tell you and have said, look to the sun, look to the sky, look within, because what is within connects with the all. You need not use anything other than your internal connection to your external all. I really feel like they're kind of trying to put me out of business. I'm joking. I'm sorry. Okay. So all day and yesterday, I knew this message was coming through. And I just want to say it's so important that you understand I listen, I don't get all of my answers for myself. Sometimes I'll have to like phone a friend, you know, and and say, hey, I need to ask you this question. Are you getting the same, you know, answer that I'm getting? Let's confirm this. I want to make sure I'm going down the right road. I want to make sure I'm making the right choices. Nine times out of 10, if it's not about love, I get answers that match identically. Um, and this isn't saying, you know, I think what they're trying to say is very clear here, but I'm also going to say that within you, you have a connection that is so strong in, in, and we call that connection here intuition. We really do call it intuition and we, the more we tap into it, the better it is. And moving forward over the next few months and into the next year and a half, we are really going to need to use our intuition a lot, individually and collectively. Now I can't, I won't say a lot, but there are certain things that are happening that are really trying to numb out our own connection, our own hits. Some of that is things we may ingest or be given. Some of that is other things. Please tap into yourself and figure out how to make that muscle grow. Now, I am going to say this. I, again, I will uh, call up a friend or whatever and say, hey, listen, this is. I need to run this past you. Tell me what do you hear? And I will get that answer. Uh, it's always good to double check with somebody who is very um, in tune also. But for yourself, please know that you have this innate born in ability and to try to listen to it as much as and whenever you can. Okay, I'm gonna go straight away into songs. Um, and the first song that I'm hearing is um, I'm All Out of Love, which I've heard before. The next song is uh, If You Love Me, Let Me Know. If You Don't, Then Let Me Go. <laughs> Aww. 
Oh, that touches a special place in my heart tonight. Um, the next song is, um, uh, that song, Let Me Love You. Oh gosh, please stop with the love songs. Okay, we're gonna just go to names. We're just going straight away to names. Straight away to names and confirmations. And if uh, the, the names and confirmations can be, um, their a loved one's name, your name, a pet's name, a nickname, someplace you went. Uh, the first thing I'm hearing is Brazil. I know I didn't say that right. Brazil. The next thing I'm hearing. Uh, the next thing I'm hearing uh, is um, uh, actually I'm hearing my name, but Tony. But I know I'm not the only Tony in the world, so it's for somebody out there. The next, I'm hearing Josephine. The next name I'm hearing is uh, Jacqueline. And then the next thing I'm seeing is um, a, a pumpkin farm, basically. It looks like a pumpkin farm, you know, in the, in the fall time with the hay bales and um, corn stalks. Um, the next thing that I'm getting is orange trees. Yeah, trees with big oranges on it. You guys, I'm trying to grow an orange tree in my house and um, it's cute. <laughs> it's cute. It's going to take a long time. <laughs> Okay, let me get back into it. The next thing I'm hearing is um, pimento or palmento, pimento or palmento. And then I'm seeing also olives, but I'm seeing them on a tree, like an olive, like an olive on a tree. Um, the next thing that I'm seeing getting uh, for a confirmation or for uh, the name Phil. And the next thing I'm getting is a Pinto. This could be the car. This could be the horse. It could be the bean. I don't know. You know, I don't know. It's not for me. It's for you. Um, Pinto. The next thing <laughs> I'm getting is a song. I, 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 nah. I don't even know the words. I don't know the words, but this is the beat. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, how does that sound go? Da -na 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 -na. I, okay, if somebody knows, please put that in. But it's coming through so strong. Okay, the next thing that I'm getting is um, I need somebody to do the quality care of my show. <laughs> Choking. The next thing that I'm getting is a um that song again. If you love me, let me know. If you don't, let me go. So for somebody, that's that song is very strong for somebody. The next thing that I'm getting is um the next thing I'm getting is um that song from um Love, exciting and new, come aboard, we're waiting for you on the love, is it called The Love Ship? That movie, that movie from whenever, that, that song, whatever, <laughs> Jesus, Moses, I'm just going to stop it there for every single reason I can stop it there. Okay, um... We're going to get started right away with callers, and I'm going to go between callers and questions in the chat, and I'm just going to let you know. Uh, please have one exact question available for me. If you call in, I can tend to, I tend to spend a little bit more time on it just because you're on the phone with me and the energy is stronger. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Grandma Kitty. JR. Um, J. Francis. Drops of Jupiter, Terry, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. 
Catherine, Amy, uh, Jade, thank you guys so much. Okay, if you do have questions and you're on YouTube, please post those questions, questions. Um, but I'm gonna go to the first caller. Please, if you wanna connect with a loved one on the other side, give me their name and their relationship for with you. And then if you have a question for them, get, put that in right away. And when I call your area code, please let me know What's your name? Where are you calling from? 610. Hello? Hi there. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Where are you are calling? You? I'm good, sweetie. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, yeah. This is Sonia. Hey, Sonia. I'm calling from PA. Excellent. How can I help you today, love? Um, I wanted to call that up. I uh, spoke to you, I think it was like two months ago, um, about the sale of my home. Um, it's still on the market. Um, I don't know what you're still picking up. It still hasn't been sold yet. I am getting active showings, though, on open houses. I had two showings today. I had an open house this past Sunday. Um, people are loving it. And I, like... This, uh, people are saying, what a beautiful home, you know, and, and all that. Like, lately, that's what I'm getting. So, do you see the house? Do you see me getting an offer in, oh, while well, we're in September? Um, like, what are you picking up for me? And, you know, is it going to be at the at the asking price of 425 Okay, so the first thing I want to say, um, you are going to get an offer. That I get very clearly I do feel like you are, mm, I asked if there's anything stopping or blocking this sale. No, anything stopping or blocking the right buyer. No. Um, is, is there, there is an offer coming. Sometimes timelines can be a little bit off, especially what, you know, with whenever there is something that deals with another person or people it's not only your timing it's it's their timing also they can they can end up having something come up and stall them also um i am going to say this you're going to get an offer you're going to love the offer it's going to be a good offer it's coming in within a month as of right now i hear that offer is going to come in within a month and when this offer comes in, you're going to be very, very happy. Now, if it's coming in within a month, we're at the beginning, like the first week of September. So I also hear October. Now the offer could come in and it could close in October, whatever that is. Um, and I keep going back to, is anything stopping or blocking this? And I get a, like the most solid no, like no, nothing is in the way of this. Is anything stopping or blocking the buyer? No. Um, it's just a it's just a simple timing thing as of this moment. So Sonia, I it's so crazy. I hear this song come in. Um, hold on, help is on the way, <laughs> and I'm not even getting any other words. Um, has she completely? You have completely let go of this property. You're so ready to get out of there. Um, it's just a matter of timing at this point. So please allow everything to work out the way it's supposed to. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No for, problem. Thank you. You're so welcome, love. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. Please feel free to call in anytime. Hey guys, I just want to remind you, I go live every Monday at noon, every Wednesday at 7 PM and I do pop up shows. So if you uh, ever want to make sure you catch my pop-up shows, subscribe, like, whatever. And if you're asking questions in the chat, please make sure you're um, you're you're all all good with all of that. Um, Jade, I answered that question. <sighs> Terry, I'm gonna take it. Yes, you will. Terry wants to know, will I survive September and October in one piece? Yes, I'm not even gonna take that as a serious um, question. I'm gonna go straight to drop, drops of Jupiter. 
Um, hey, Tony, my son is addictive state. I think that my son is in an addictive state. Sorry. Um, so sorry. Um, drops of Jupiter. Will he pull himself out of this and get back to the place that has helped him in the past? Um, drops of Jupiter. I'm really, really sorry. Um, I've, I'm going to tell you a couple of things, and it's not easy for me to say this. I'm, I'm always honest because I have to be. That's my agreement with the, the team that I work with when, and, and with your teams also that no matter how much an answer might be uncomfortable, it's better to get the truth than to have false hope. So I always try to deliver the truth as gently as possible, possible though. As of right now, this is the path your son will be on. I feel like I keep hearing he graduated to something different. So whatever he was doing before or whatever amount or level he was at before, he has excuse the term, but kind of doubled down or he's, he's more, uh, he's doing it a little bit more aggressively or doing more or has changed to something even different. Um, I feel like somebody he's associated with, and we're not, you know, we're not going to blame anyone because we're all responsible for our journey and where we are in life. No matter who's around us, we have to make our choices that are best for us. But what I'm getting for him, there is someone, at least one person, there might be more than one, but there's someone that um, he's kind of tied to that he goes and does this, this with. Um, and let's not make excuses though, because when we have somebody who has addictions, we have to stay as based in reality as we can. And we can't, we have to hold that person as accountable as possible, because if we don't, we're hindering them, not helping them. Having said that, um, I know this isn't an, this really is not an easy thing for me to say to you. If your son were to get on the right medications, perhaps some antipsychotics or something like that, he would have a much easier time to let go of the other stuff. But I do know sometimes even when people get the proper medication, they still will fall into their addictions because they just want to escape. So I'm sorry, that is um, my, my message for you tonight. I wish it was something different and I wish you the best on your journey with him. It's going to be a really difficult year. I'm going to tell you this drops of Jupiter. It's going to be a really challenging rest of the year as far as he goes, but don't let what's going on with him infiltrate other areas of your life. Keep other areas of your life as, as separated as possible. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. I hope you understand that. Um, thank you. Thank you for the question. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 860. 860, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Anna. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. Um, so I guess to the question is, do you feel like September is going to be a better month for me as far as social life, meeting somebody? 
Okay, so September is going to be the first thing I hear is status quo. Okay, so whatever that means for you. And then I hear October is going to be a much stronger month. And what I'm hearing okay. for you, Amla, is if you, and you know, I know, Amla, you're out there doing everything you can. You're joining groups and you're going to meetups and you're, you're doing all of this yeah. stuff. One of the things I'm, I'm hearing is, um, like, uh, if you want, if you want something you've never had, you might have to do something you've never done. I'm, I, I'm going to say this because it's coming to me. It's not a dating service. It's definitely not a website. It's not a dating site. I'm going to, I correct myself. It's not a, a dating site. Like, you okay. know, some of the, it's not that. That's not it at all. But there is like a, a place or an organization that is, will be, that will be helpful in you meeting like-minded people that are appreciative of you and your your journey. And this, I, I wish okay. I could get a little bit more. I that's they're saying that's for her, that's for her, that's for her. Um one thing that I'm also getting, Amla, is that there is going to be Like a change in the wind, like a change in the wind, um, meaning it's going to switch direction. Obvi change in the wind, switch direction, and they're not they're they're giving me statements, but they're not being really clear. And I know you're going to have a hundred questions to ask about that because, believe me, I have a hundred questions to ask about that right now. I'm, I'm like, what do you mean? Like as I'm saying things, I'm going, but what do you mean a change in the wind? What do you mean a an organization? What do you mean? Give me more, give me more. And they're just like right now, they're not. They're they're like, Doop! shutting it down and. I'm going to tell you, Amla, there's going to be something coming through very soon. They're saying tomorrow, but we all know how tomorrow works with them. That's going to lead you to the thing that's going to lead you to the person. Okay. And I do feel like, <clears throat> excuse my voice. I do feel like you're going to have to... Uh, I, you know, Amla, we were on the phone once and I told you of this vision of you being in or walking into this certain type of place. That still holds true because I'm still seeing it, sweetie. So it's still there. It might just be, it's, you didn't miss it. It just, it's not there yet. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, okay, because it would have happened if it was, I mean, I totally get it, totally. Excellent. Yes. Phew. Would work. Yeah. Phew. Okay, excellent, yeah. sweetie. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling. I do say, you know, hold faith as much as you want it, let go of it. And I know you're living your life and doing what you're doing. And I, I'm yeah. on a different note. Maybe it's the same note, but it could be a different note. I feel like pretty soon you're going to be volunteering at a at an organization. And I feel like that is going to be really powerful for you. Okay, love? Yeah, I just want to validate, just validating something really quickly. I, I'm, I'm doing a lot of advocacy work. So, um, mm -hmm. all summer, I've been just advocating for myself, uh, uh, people underneath my umbrella of not just being blind, but disabilities. So, um, that does make sense to me. So I Excellent. To I think you're going to get, and I do feel like it's something like that, but I feel like it's, it's even, you're going to be doing even more 
you're going to be very hands on. I, and I know you know what that means. Like I get the words, but yeah. it's supposed to make more sense to you than it does to me. Okay, love? Yes, yeah, thank you so very much. Have a great evening. Thank you, Tony. Thank you are you. so welcome. And I love you. I love you. Have an amazing rest God of the bless. night. I love you. Thank you, love. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go to the next question um, on the chat. Who is Elizabeth? Elizabeth says, anything from my parents, um, Pete and Bezzy. I love that. Um, Yeah, um, there, the first thing I'm seeing, and this should be a confirmation, Elizabeth, is like an, an ornament you would hang on the tree. They're showing me an old school Christmas tree and an ornament you would hang on it. And it's like knitted, and like a, a knitted ornament. Okay, so that should be some sort of confirmation. Um, the next thing I'm getting that is a confirmation for you that they're around is um, it's something with a scent, like um, they're showing me food like bacon and eggs, but they're also showing me um, like a um, like a smoke, a smoke. I hope it's not burnt bacon and eggs, but I think it's more like a cigarette or a cigar or some kind of cigarette, cigarette smoke. Okay. So those are, whenever you smell that, if somebody else is smoking or whatever it is, whenever you smell either of those things or see any of those things, it's a confirmation that they are around you. Okay. Um, the message would be that you are doing you're doing uh, you're doing better than than you think or better than you give yourself credit for. You're doing um, a very good uh, you're about to go into a very good time. You're about to have some expansion in your life and make sure that you are paying attention to you. That would be the message for you, love. I hope that that is very helpful for you. Thank you for the uh, question. I'm going to go to 630. 630, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Thank you for taking my call. It's Dion. I'm in North Carolina. Okay, Dion, thank you for calling. How can I help you today, love? Um. So I'm calling about Monique and I'm trying to get some answers for her dad. Can you just give me some information that would be helpful, but like who was around her or what happened there? Okay, just give me a second, sweetie. Um, the first, well, the first thing I hear is the police know they're not telling everything they know, but they know more than they're telling, first of all. Second, um, I keep hearing his, his father, his father. So if there was his father, who is, who is him? Who is his? Who's he? There's um, someone that is, well, let me go this way. Let me do this a little bit differently. Okay, if I'm getting this, if I'm getting this correctly, someone was trying to hide something. Someone is trying to, like was trying to keep something quiet or cover something up. And what 
was it about it? No, it was his father, his father, his father. Whoever, whatever this is, the I just keep keep hearing his father, and I keep hearing um, keeping it quiet, not letting it out. Does this have to do with money, love, sex? I think it has something to do with money. Out of everything, money is the thing that comes out the most. Like her grandfather? No. Or... No, you're going in the wrong direction with that. You're going in the wrong direction with oh, that. Oh, so it's like her, her, her child grandfather? Here's the way I'm going to say this, love. Somebody that was in her life that person's father had a lot to do with this but you know what here's here's what else i'm going to say to you i keep hearing dna 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 so regardless it's all going to come out because of dna okay love so you don't have to worry so much about okay. about You don't have to worry so much about it because there's some DNA that is going to be very, it's going to be very evident with the DNA. Okay, love? Thank you. You're so welcome. You have you. an amazing rest of the week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, love. Thank you. Thank you. I am going to go to the next question on the chat. Uh, okay, here we go. Jade wants to know, um, Tony, my company laid off 25%, me included. So sorry about that, Jade. Um, two weeks ago, I was devastated. So I'm looking for another job. I'm researching companies as I apply. When do you see me landing a great job I'm visualizing. Okay. Um, the first thing I'm hearing, Jade, is be open to things outside your area. Now, this could mean outside of your area that you live, or it could mean like you, you have always done this and now you're going to do this. Be open to different areas or it could mean both of them the other the next thing that i hear be very diligent go to company websites as well as the other places i hear the word contract whatever that means um and that could mean like if you some people they're going to um like uh what is it called when when you go to a place and they help you they tell you the jobs um like uh recruiters so you might sign a contract with a recruiter or the position you might get might be more uh dealing with contracts or there's something about contract here it might be a contract work or it might be um something to do with a contract um the next thing that I'm hearing is, is she going to start next month? You, There's the possibility for you to start next month. You have to be really diligent about, and I, I say this all the time, and I'm going to say it again. There's a lot of new people that listen to my shows all the time. Think outside the box. Every company hires for every, just about every position. So if you're thinking about, for example, a car dealership, they hire for every single position. They need the office workers, the assistants, the this, the that, the other thing. If, excuse me, if you're um, talking about um, law offices, hotels, cruise ships, airlines, they all hire for all the positions. And many of those companies 
are really looking for people right now. I know um, airlines and other uh, travel industry, like cruise lines and stuff, they're really looking. But there are some other areas that are really opening up and and looking for people right now. Go directly to the websites. I always say this and start looking. I feel like you're going to find something within a month. And next month, <clears throat> you should be uh, brought on. And I keep hearing, stay diligent. Stay diligent diligent. Is there any way she can be brought on in September? You may even be brought on in September. You have to be extremely diligent, though, love. You have to be really super diligent, okay? Um, super, super diligent. I think I did those. Let's go here. Um, we're going to go to 434. Hello. Hi there. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Khalil, I'm calling from Charlottesville, Virginia. How how are you today? Pretty good. How are you doing? Excellent. How can I help you? Hi, I wanted to know, um, I don't know if I've talked to you about this, but there's a uh, thing, there's a movie I want to do. It's sort of like the car or sort of like Christine, but um, it would it would be an evil car and it would be like something where at the end the car meets its demise. It would have, it'd be similar to, more similar to the car where it would not only touch on an evil car, but it would touch on things like violence, gun violence and stuff. And I had an idea, not really to copy the car, where you put the guns that were used by criminals and terrorists inside of a car and make, make the, um, the gun backfire within the car and it would destroy the firearms in the car. And it would be done in the warehouse where um the door would be open the bay door would be open and i was wondering what that would a would a uh, movie like that touch off or would it be too much it, it would it be pressing it too much as far as like popping the car okay so um it would be kind of a big budget movie you would leave, need a lot of resources and a lot of money to do this particular movie, especially like the end scene, because it never goes off in one scene is what I'm hearing. Second, um, if you do find someone to back it, uh, first of all, have your your whole movie written out and then uh, trademark it, protect it, and then give it to people. And as you have it all completely written out, you're going to have nuances that change and become better and stronger um but it could be done with the right financing and the right company okay okay excellent thank, thank you so much for for calling in thank you welcome okie dokie I'm going to go to the next question. If you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. And um, you can ask a question. I can help you connect to a loved one on the other side. Or uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you can ask a question in the chat. Hi, Catherine. Will the Math Institute get some grants? We keep getting rejected. Yeah, it is. It's not going to look the way you think it's going to look, but there's something coming in, um, especially into late October, November, and then also, also in January. Um, into January, I feel like there's going to be some really good things coming in. But late October, but November, and then in January again, something's going to open up. I think I, you're probably already doing this. I feel like you need to look at a lot of federal grants. Um, 
and I know you you probably are are already doing that, but what I'm hearing is federal grants. And the the reason the reason for the rejection is some of that is already been expended, but also um Some of it is already like the when the new year comes, the funds will be there. But also, but the other thing is there's a little bit of verbiage that just needs to be mm, tweaked a little bit, Catherine. I hope that's helpful for you. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 203. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Michelle from Georgia. Hey, Michelle. Um, I just feel, um, I just feel a little depressed with the state of the world and everything. And, uh, I was just looking for some hopeful words or maybe something that good's going to happen, you know, in my life. I don't know. Okay. So Michelle, um, the first thing I want to say is, and I say this a lot to a lot of people, don't personally invest in what's going on that's not in your control. Um, a lot of what's going on is, and I know some people don't, They, when I say this, it takes a moment for it to register. Um, there are two things, and there's really one thing in this world, and it's faith, love love and faith um but for certain aspects of this world to stay where they are and yeah i'm kind of speaking in code so my show doesn't get flagged but for certain people to stay in power for certain groups to stay in power they use fear they do a lot of fear mongering so stay away from that as much as possible and stay in the area of faith. And when I say faith, I'm not talking or speaking directly of a, a specific religion or a group or anything like that. Just the faith that you've always been okay. You'll always be okay. You are divinely protected. Um, and everything that is happening is happening with purpose. And the purpose is for you to see through the illusion into the truth. And the truth of the matter is that we, and it's, it's going back to what they said in the beginning of the show, we are the way. We, you are the way. And no matter what is going on in the state of the world, your way will always be lit and there it will always be a, a light like shone up on it, shine shining upon it and don't let pr basically propaganda um bring you down i i want to bring this up and this is probably what's gonna when i a um a certain leader of ours i'm thinking if i don't say names i won't get flagged yeah. actually signed a yeah. law that the media does not have to be honest. That our media, our nightly news can get on and lie. Yeah. And, and they cool. do this with the intention of keeping us in a certain space and in a certain way with certain fears and they it's very effective it's extremely effective and they know how to program us um from the studies that have been done uh on programming um so all i can say my love is to please stay in a space of faith tune out as much if it doesn't directly affect you try to tune it out and tap into yourself and that is going to be the best best 
thing for you. Okay, Elizabeth gave me a confirmation. Elizabeth is saying, um, both parents smoke, thank you. Um, she's confirming both things I said. I'm assuming the, uh, I think the other thing was bacon and eggs or um, the ornament, I'm not sure. Um, Okay, Ani wants to know, I'm looking to get married. Any chance of me meeting someone marriage worthy soon? I love you, Ani. Um, oh my gosh, I'm gonna just say this. Don't have, yes, okay, it's important to, to know that you want a marriage. Um, it is very important to know that and to know that the other person don't be in a rush to get to that point is the first message i'm getting is i'm going to meet a person that is good for marriage in september october november december you have the potential to meet the person in december i feel like you meet this person you do meet them organically um I hear the word event. So if you're invited to any event, late November, December, even into January, say yes. Um, and mingle, mingle, get around the room, mingle, say hi to people, not with the intention of, of anything other than mingling. You never know, listen, you never know Who's going to look at you and say, you know what, you, I, I, I need to introduce you to my brother. I need to introduce you to this person or that person. You never know. Absolutely never know. Um, so, yes, an event. And I feel like there, it, it, it's going to be a really good event. Make sure you say yes to events during the month of December that you say is even in November and January and show up with the intention of just, you're gonna just say hi to as many people, female and male as you can. Okay, love, that's what I have for you. And when you meet this person, please do not be in a rush, take your time and get to know them, sweetie. Um, Okay, I'm going to see if there's any other callers. I think there are. I don't remember everybody I've talked to, and I apologize for that. If you would like to call in and ask a question, 845-275-8452. Um, and I'm going to go to this caller next. Oh, hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, Tina Colorado, and my question is, ma'am, thank you so much for your caring. And you're a very beautiful lady, by the way. Thank you so much. My question, yeah, you are. Uh, my question is, so I applied to this program for school, uh, and the, the counselor interviewed me today, and um, do you see me getting that project, yes or no, question? I feel like you need to keep applying. I feel like something else is going to come along right behind this. That's going to be so much better. And you're going to be so happy with the next thing that comes along. Okay, love. So keep applying because right behind, like it's not the next one, but the one after that, maybe that you apply to that you're going to get, and it's going to be it's just, it's going to be a good one for you. Okay, love? Okay, yes. Yes, that's all. That's all. Thank you so much. You you are so, so welcome. I hope you have an amazing rest of the night. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you so much for asking your question. Uh, okay, I can answer a few more questions. If you'd like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. If I'm not able to get to you today, please remember I do offer private sessions. Or if you have a lot of questions or more you would like to talk about, 
please, um, by all means, you can book that. Um, I'm going to go here, Yvette. Uh, what's coming up for me and David in our relationship? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Uh, I'm not sure if you're asking me if there's going to be a a big event coming up. I'm I'm really not sure what you mean by that. Um, if I'm asking, tell me a little bit about their relationship. I hear it's copacetic. I hear um, going in turn. Um, is anything big coming up? I hear a yes. And uh, if you want to elaborate on that, Yvette, if you want to be a little bit more specific, uh, you can do that. I will be, if I reach that, I will be happy to elaborate that. Okay. Um, okay, you guys, I want to, I just want to take a moment and I want to um, channel a little bit more or give a couple more names and or or confirmations for everyone um the first thing i'm gonna i'm just gonna give some some messages for sorry for shaking the camera i'm just gonna give some messages for people who are who are listening and or watching right now there's someone out there and they're just showing me you're going to start seeing spheres of color and don't freak out by that um that's a gift many 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 people would love to have but you're going to start seeing spheres of color there's nothing wrong with your eyes um please just breathe and and um it, and when i say spheres of color it's almost like um yeah a sphere of color and sometimes that's how angels present as a sphere of color also loved ones can uh present uh as that the next thing the next message that i'm getting or the next thing i want to share with um with you guys is that there's going to be at the end of this month there's going to be really big news and we're most of us are going to find this news to be very good um but something near or at the end of this month is going to come in that's going to be good for most people whatever that is they're not even telling me what it is i wish i could know what that is um eve eve Yvette wants to know, are they going to be moving in together or engagement or meeting parents? Okay, so let me look into that, Yvette. There is something big coming. 90 up. seconds. And Yvette, I'm going to say, you know, be patient. Over the holidays, there's going to be small, small, pleasant surprises. Don't be rushed in this. Um, be patient. There's going to be pleasant surprises coming in, but smaller ones. Embrace them and appreciate them, and it will lead you to bigger, better things with your partner. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I am so grateful for each and every one of you.